Hey, what's up guys? What else we're back here and today we are gonna be playing some cube lock Uh, I found this list online and it looked really really interesting. It's taking advantage of the newly nerfed cataclysm Uh, right now discarding two cards is not that bad if you're typically holding like seven eight nine cards in hand Uh, so this card is now just pretty solid at dealing the board on turn five and then you know You could also pop your cubes and whatnot But yeah, no, I saw this list and to me it looked really really interesting and also really really fun with a couple new cards that I've never seen like uh Ebius Corpse, discover friendly minion to resurrect and give it rush, dies at the end of the turn. I mean, that's not bad, especially when you're, you know, resing Enhanced Shredlord, Void Collar, things like that. Also, uh, Shallow Grave, you get to trigger some Death Rattles and some cubes and whatnot. Seems pretty darn cool. Anyways, with all that being said, how about let's queue up the first game and let's see how it goes. I guess, yeah, with that being said, I'll see y'all there. Alright. So our first matchup is against a warlock. Um, I want to assume it's aggro. I want to keep this. Oh. Yeah, I think I keep Gul'dan. It does mean I have to draw demons for turn 10 if I survive that long, but it is the single best card to just slam on curve in the, in the, the control matchup. So hopefully we'll be able to hit. It should be easy, right? Deck is only 30 cards, half of which are what we want. That is a really awful draw right now. Right now, what we wanted to see, like if this was a Dreadlord or a Mogar, we were really, really happy. So the reason we were happy if that's like, it kind of just plays around Dirty Rat, right? That's not bad either. Um, so the main reason for uh, Merchant is to discard Gul'dan so you can have multiple coffees. Same thing with discarding those off. Um, I'm gonna wait a little bit before I slam it. I think it is correct to do that since Demons is a huge card to draw. Oh, that's fine. This is this is not the best one to pull. Obviously, we'd rather have enhanced, but for right now, I mean, if he dirty rats us, he does have a 25% chance to pull this, 25% chance to pull this, and in all of those scenarios, it's like value for us, right? want to save this for this we actually have a fairly good turn five where we can do this discarding one of these two trigger its death rattle gets us two more and to kill it off gets two more so that's like four that's not bad i know this is typically going to be used to trigger enhanced dreadlord or cubes but it can be used to trigger other things as well Just go for this, right? Let's get a free eight seven. Yeah, I mean, getting a free eight seven is not bad, especially if we top deck like cube or something like this is pretty darn solid. I want to try and hold off on going the blood reefer Gul'dan play for a while. I would ideally prefer to slam this off first. So that is the thing. I'll just slam it. I think I'd rather have this die first, right? Yeah, I'd rather have this dead first so I can pull this. I think that's the best one to pull. Yeah, that's fine. 50-50. Actually, less than 33% of the time he gets a kill. The other 66% of the time he gets something less good. The only thing I'm worried about is the difference in cards. He has 10 more cards than I do in my deck. So that's not ideal. Anyways, I hope everybody has a beverage, by the way. I'm currently drinking me some coffee. I'm seven. I wasn't sure if it was going to be minion or spell, so I just went with the safe play, which was slam the minion, and it worked out. I mean, I would rather get the void color count, uh, let's say countered. Well, yeah, I guess countered. 
then get the um, spell countered. So basically, if I didn't see it, I would have just potentially shallow graved. Trust me. I'm not quite sure what I, I would have. No, I would have probably just threw away the defile. I'm playing a control matchup, I don't didn't need defile. No. I'm gonna summon an 8 8 here. I'm an 88 eight or do a 50 50. I do kind of want to slam this here. Then I don't have anything on board. So I could do this. No, then I run out of space in hand. Okay. Not quite sure what the right play there was. It could have been Sense Demons. The problem is we don't have another Void Color to draw, so it's a little bit meh. Um, yeah. We should probably think about sl slamming sense even sometime soon we know he's done highlander which is good because that means we don't need to find the bad luck albatrosses which is really really good if we did think it was um reno we would have probably hard mold more for the bad luck albatross the card is actually really really good in the mirror match or in the control match that's fine I'm just gonna slam this into slam this. Proceed like that. And this combo exactly replaces itself, so that's good to remember. This combo exactly replaces itself. Let the ritual of absolution commence. That's really bad for me. Really, really bad for me. That's a lot of agonies in my deck. Could go with this. I guess that's fine. Summon some 8 8s. Just not bad. I think I'd rather do this though. It sucks that he got that on that, but. Just slam this here like this. This looks like I can't go up to 11 mana to be able to do this plus this in one turn, but you know, should be fine. If this dies this turn, I'm slamming this off. So this way this can guarantee hit this. They don't have to worry that much about Dirty Rat anymore because this is just obviously better. Um, One of the interesting cards that we could have put into this deck was Kenrathod. Uh, the reason he's so interesting in this deck is he's another death rattle to res with this, which will put more things into your deck, which is really, really good for me. Deal four. He's played both raised deads. He still has three of the minions in hand. I don't quite know what they are yet. The only cards I want to still see in my deck. Hopefully, I burn an agony. Actually, it's the highest odds. It's like half my deck. No, trust me. Beautiful. He's already played one abyssal wave. I guess he could have twisting. If he does twisting, I mean, I gain what is this? Twenty four. Get a five five. Get another five seven taunt. I'm like super vibing if he does twisting. And if not, I mean, he's just dead on board. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Nuz off. What a classic card. That's the thing I'm the most scared for is twisting Dirty Rat or Dirty Rat twisting. Because then he has like a 50 50 opponent us, which I would really not want to see. But hey. Are we going to the 5 7, not the 8 8? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. I mean, that was just best case scenario, right? I I genuinely cannot be mad at that. Here's a couple deal fours. Hope that just smacks straight into an 8-8. That'd be ideal. Hopefully top deck second shallow grave that would be best case scenario 
Well, five, six, seven. That was really loud in my ears. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of armor. Five mana. I guess, yeah, I guess I go for it. That's how that works. Okay. I did not realize it worked that way. Alright, now we have a whole bunch of blood wreath of gul'dans. I fucks with it. I want to try and combo these two together. Ideally hit the uh, Mogar. We have a whole bunch of dead Mogar, so the odds are fairly high. Just gains 12 or 16 health. Yeah. I think we won this game. I'm a little bit worried about the amount of agonies in my deck and the amount of damage I take from Abyssal Curses. But, hey. I think I know what the play is, and I'm not the biggest fan of it. I believe, I could be wrong here, but I believe the play is we slam one of these, and then we just keep all the cards we draw in hand. We burn agonies, and we prevent him from giving us uh, Abyssal Curses. Although, he is down to... Probably two left. Depends what the raise like. There's one raise that target. I don't know. So max three left. Um, but yeah, he's played two drag belows. So I think that is the play. It's super super conservative, but I think it is the right play. If I draw another card here, I might not even slam this. I guess it depends. I do really want to slam this. It gives me a really really good uh, like. Uh, I'm trying to avoid drawing those. That's really good. I said just slam one. I slam one to have a full board. No, there's a couple more guys there. That's an additional 24 health. I feel like I'm playing Druid, but with like demons. The only card I still want to draw in my deck is Expired Merchant. Because that just gives us a million Blood Reaper Gul'dans, and then we just can't lose the game. The other thing is, he's tapped a lot. So even though I have, I think I have a l 10 of these in my deck. Uh, I'm at 9, he's at 10 cards. So we've, like, we've shortened that gap, and we have the same amount of cards in hand. Which means that he's been really, really inefficient at answering my threats. Which is really good for me. I don't want to say I'm in a position I can't lose from, but I'm in a position that's going to be very, very hard to lose from. Not only because my hero power is just straight up better than his right now, but also for a multitude of other reasons. But yeah, the only card I still want to see is Expired Merchant. Because if I see Expired Merchant, I can go this, Expired Merchant, kill it. It gives me six Blood Reaper Gul'dans. That's ten Gul'dans total. That's a lot. Go to the file. File is the only answer you can possibly have here. 16, 24. Ah, uh, beautiful. <laughs> I could have gained so much armor still. I guess his whole hope there was, I hope he draws both, or all the agonies, so that way I die, but... Alas, so it's not meant to be. Oh yeah. That was insane. Gul'dan is such a good card. I miss slamming Gul'dan every game. Alright, well, we have plenty of time left, so let's queue up the next one. All right. No one matches my power. I don't want to keep this a good shaman. I realistically shouldn't, but because I'm holding the void color, I don't keep it. I need to hit a minion 
way too badly a big demon especially if i'm assuming it's aggro we have turned yeah. our curse into our strength. if we hit a minion that's tempo so basically either of these two big demons this card becomes win the game almost in combination with the other stuff we have in hand so okay, there's the clogar we're in a very very good position right now this deck is all like i don't want to say anti-aggro but i don't know how else i would put it i'm waiting for turn five for the void caller by the way force them to exactly have the devolve which not all lists play pretty good for me this ruins his draw a little bit occasionally even just hitting two is like perfectly fine like if he draws one sorry if he draws one that's fine on curve. Would you like to learn why? Left. Huh? Well, if he has a devolve on top of this curve, I mean, he deserves the dub. There's no way I was looking about that. This matchup went from we should probably win the game solely due to our position to well, there's very high odds we just lose. Off the fact you just the coin three. Uh, storm right uh, he also had to devolve typically a one of if they still play it which is a little bit obnoxious what can you do don't even know how i'm supposed to win this game i need a void caller to work is the real thing i need him not to have the default for void caller he plays a couple okay if he doesn't buff their health oh, i'm getting rid of expired merchant here Not bad here, actually. Damn, the map doesn't add up anymore. Hmm. I need to answer this for I'm just dead. Has to be this file. The math there is so bad. I can't do that. I have to go for this. Thank you for your service. I have to go for this in case I hit Shallow Grave. If I hit Shallow Grave, I can do this plus Shallow Grave next turn. And it should... I mean, it kills me two big-ass demons. If any of them survive, I have the cube. Cube them, especially if it's double Mogar, cube of Mogar. I'm super far ahead in that case. Cause then after that, I just curve big taunt, big taunt, big taunt, big taunt into ideally Gul'dan after that. One, I need him to hit the one one. He should have attacked first. I'm assuming he's playing around the file. Um, so if he would have hit the one one, like if he hero powers here and hits the one one, I'm in a really good position. If he doesn't, I'm fucked. Oh, I'm fucked. Yeah, I just straight up cannot beat that. I had to have my guy die. If my guy died, pulled this, he's forced to do this trade. I gain eight, I take six, plus two health, and then after that I can curve big taunt, big taunt, big taunt, big taunt. Sadly did not get there. Oh well, what can you do? We had to hit a whole bunch of cards. His curve was nuts. If he didn't have the storm right on three, we had won the game. If he didn't have the devolve, we had won the game. So he just had a perfect draw basically. Oh well, we have time for one last game, so let's uh, queue it up. Alright. The knights of the Ebon Blade will not falter. No one matches my We've drawn this every game in our opener. 
I want to keep it. I would not keep it if I had the void color. But I'm going to probably have to use we this as a catch up card, which is why I want to keep it for curve purposes. This is also not bad here. This can be slammed on three or four. I have the dark skies as well, which is not bad. Okay, the file is huge. A lot of minions in this class have one health, so the file here is very, very nice. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. That's fine. Don't want to tap here. Void color sick. I just smacked my ring into my headphones. That sucks. Yeah. yeah, so the reason I went for that play is I couldn't realistically go for the other one, sadly. The the other play of waiting, it doesn't work out well. Like I have more to six cards now. From here on out we just have a solid answer. This is just really, really good. Especially if we pull this, then we just win the game because our curve after that is insane. Our curve here can be super, super insane, depending on what we pull. Like, if this pulls this, and he doesn't have an answer, we could just win the game off of this, so, like, solely this. Uh, because we can cube it, and then we can use the file and whatnot to try and kill off our cube after we trade into things. So good. You know, I wish they buffed this card and they gave it Rush. That'd be sick. I guess I go for this. I kind of went for the 50-50, but I'd rather do this trade. If there's ever now a minion that's at one health, I'd win the game because this the file is huge. I'm just mad because this might die and then it can't pull anything and then I'm in a bad position, but let me eat this. He's using that. I mean, he'd have to trade this. That's not good for him. Man, this guy is that every answer. Look, so now he gets to eat one of this. He gets to eat this for free, and I don't have an answer for it. Oh. He didn't eat it. That's really good for me. I don't know why he didn't take the free. I feel like you saw me play the second one there. I feel like you know that I probably don't have an extra demon because else I would have just slammed it the other way for favorable RNG. Okay. Find new strength in freedom, Shade. <laughs> So I can punch here and then go for the file play. That is a play I have. Yeah, I find that's fine. Backfire is not really good here. I'm hoping to draw any of my eight drops. An eight drop here would be insane. This prints on the top of my deck, right? Push draw a card. Three, 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 three. I can just kill through here. Kill three. I hit. Two demons, really unfortunate. No, no. It's good. This is transform a friendly minion, right? I'm not tripping. Where is it? Transform undead. 
Huh. May have fucked up. I guess I should just this one. Me. Dead. I definitely thought that was just transform a friendly undead. I am very glad I looked and I didn't get cucked by that because that would have sucked. really bad that is a very good draw well starting next turn it's just all the blood reaver gul'dans i can summon what is it it's two enhanced dreadlords two enhanced dreadlord tokens two void callers it's not bad not bad at all you just give the the and health that I'm gonna have across my guys is gonna be really hard for him to deal with. Sorry, the 14 health across my aggro minions is gonna be really, or my top minions are gonna be really hard. I get English anymore. I'm just glad I'm playing cube in a deck in wild right now and everything works out. <laughs> it would be, I, I would like it if my opponent didn't just alt F4. Like that would be great, believe it or not. But I guess my opponent's like, yeah, no, you're having too much fun. Get fucked. And now I cry. <laughs> uh. Never seen this card in my whole life. Let's start with a non-golden one. In blood and shadows. Oh, look, I have taunts. You're not undead, right? No, they're just demons. Thank God. I can't believe this is not friendly. Genuinely cannot believe the fact that this is not friendly minions and it's just all undead or any undead. Like, that's. That's crap. He has 20 corpses. How am I supposed to beat 20 corpses? This is deep rough. Oh, okay. Man, you couldn't just let me play one or two more Gulbans before conceding. Really, you just had to go with the concede. Man, I love playing Gul'dan. Playing Gul'dan feels so good. The card is so not, man. Actually, the card does not feel fair at all. Oh, I hope Reno Lock in the current upcoming meta goes back to playing Blood Reaver, Gul'dan, and Void Colors because that honestly, that's my favorite Reno Lock list is the one with Blood Reaver, Gul'dan, Expired Merchants, uh, Faceless Manips on them, and that. Uh, I wonder if I'll ever be able to play the Faces Manipulator combo again. To dream. You know, I might I might try that. I might do a stream sometime soon where I try that. Also, uh, I meant to say, sorry for no streaming last night. Um, I had a shitload of homework to do uh, that I was kind of dropped that was due this morning at 6 a.m. So I didn't really get to bed till like 2, 3 after doing homework. I like finished homework at 2 or 3 in the morning. Um... And then send it to my team and then they got back to me and yeah it was awful and i did not enjoy it one bit but but i'm gonna try and stream food i can't stream tonight because i'm also really really busy tonight but maybe tomorrow depending on a couple factors all right so yeah with all that being said um actually i guess it today as the video going up i'm trying to remember my schedule in my head and yeah so it's today as this video is going up i might be streaming tonight if not it's gonna be thursday night uh so look forward to that anyways yeah with all that being said i'll see you guys all uh leave a like subscribe as always follow me on twitch twitter and uh yeah i'll see you guys all on the next one all right guys yeah hope you guys enjoyed see y'all there peace